Nine bulletin in 10 seconds. Several shots were fired as President Kennedy's motorcade passed through downtown Dallas. The crowd screamed and lay down on the grass as the motorcade went by. It was not known if the shots were aimed at the president. Repeat, it is not known if the shots were aimed at the president. On November 22, 1963, John F. Kennedy was riding in a presidential motorcade through Dealey Plaza in Dallas, Texas, when he was shot in the head by Lee Harvey Oswald. The assassination of JFK left everyone in shock and left people wondering why someone would commit such a heinous act. Many bystanders took videos and photos of what would become the president's assassination. Lots of people seen in the photos would be identified, however, many people would also not be. This woman is one of those unidentified people. The Babushka Lady is a name given to an unknown woman who was seen in almost all of the photos and videos taken when JFK was shot. The name is given to her because of the Russian headscarf she is seen wearing. Following the assassination, the FBI called for witnesses to come forward, especially those that were using cameras, hoping there would be clues as to who shot the president. Immediately, there was an interest in the Babushka Lady as she was seen in many of the photos. The woman is seen holding what appears to be a camera, photographing the moment JFK was shot. She is also seen in videos such as the Mary Munchmore film, Mark Bell film, and the Sapruder film. In the Mark Bell film, the woman is seen at about 50 seconds in, after the shots were fired. She is standing on the grass with her back to the camera, as everyone around her is running. In the Mary Munchmore film, she is seen at about 41 seconds, standing behind a man and his young son. In both of these videos, she appears to be holding her hands up to her face, as if she's holding the camera. The woman's behavior is also very odd. When the shots are fired, everyone around her is panicking and taking cover, all while the woman remains still and unfazed. Seven years later, in 1970, a woman by the name of Beverly Oliver told conspiracy researcher Gary Shaw that she was the babushka lady. Oliver claimed that she filmed the assassination with her Yashica Super 8 camera. She said that she never got the film developed because two FBI agents confiscated her film. The agent said that her film would be returned to her within 10 days. However, she never got it back. There are some issues with Oliver's story though. The first was that Oliver was a slender 17 year old in 1963. The babushka lady is clearly a shorter and older woman. The second is that Oliver claims she was using a Yashica Super 8 camera to film JFK. However, the Yashica Super 8 wasn't even produced until 1969. She said that the camera was a prototype and that she got to use it before it became available to the public. Her story becomes even more crazy when she claims that she also knew Jack Ruby and that Ruby introduced her to JFK assassin Lee Harvey Oswald. Ruby, of course, would go on to kill Oswald after he was arrested. Whether or not Oliver's story is true is up for debate. There are definitely lots of theories though as to who the babushka lady was. Some people think she was an assassin with a camera gun. Some think she was a Russian spy or a government agent. Others think that she wasn't even a woman at all, but a man disguised as a woman, as she had a wide masculine stance. And then there are some that think she wasn't holding the camera but binoculars. Now personally, my favorite out of these theories is the dude dressed up as a lady because it just reminds me of Mrs. Doubtfire. There have been no other leads as to who the babushka lady really was, and given that this was 1963, it's likely the woman is dead by now, so the identity of the babushka lady will likely remain a mystery. <laughs>